Hi everyone, welcome back to Dave's Shed. Uh, in a previous video, I created a yin yang candle holder, and I'll put a link in the description to that for you. Uh, and I sanded those curves by hand, and the curves had to be just right, so that took that took hours actually of sanding. Uh, so when there was a sale, I brought this spindle sander. Uh, this is a shipback. As far as I can tell, uh, it's the same machine under many different brands um, with diff just different colors casings but otherwise identical machines so I brought this I'll unpack it uh, set it up uh, and give it a go and uh, give you my thoughts so stick around <laughs> In a previous video, I made these yin yang tea light candle holders, and I was very happy with the way they turned out. Uh, but I did mention that it, I spent hours and hours sanding these by hand. Uh, it was actually quite difficult, very time consuming to sand them. They had to be, as you can see, I wanted to make them fit together precisely. So when one of these spindle sanders came up on sale, uh, I couldn't resist, I had, to, I had to buy it. Now, there are, there's a bunch of different manufacturers or brands, and they are, as far as I can tell, they're exactly the same machine. They just have different colours. So, you can see which brand this one is, and it's blue. Triton, as far as I can tell, they have exactly the same machine. Uh, and there's this orange, and there are, I'm aware there are other make manufacturers of brands as well. And they're precisely the same machine. So. Uh, there might be a lot of people that are interested in uh, watching me unpack this and set it up. A spindle sander, otherwise known as a bobbin sander, or more accurately, an oscillating spindle sander, uh, has a drum, and you attach a sleeve of sandpaper to this drum. It rotates, and at the same time it slowly moves up and down, so that the uh, scratch marks of the sandpaper are spread evenly I guess uh, and that's it that it has a flat top uh, and some of them allow you to adjust that top at a certain at various angles and it's very helpful for sanding inside curves and also you can sand um, holes or basically uh, get inside to sand. The cast iron table comes uh, with some protective grease on it, so I degreased that and then I sprayed on some Lanotech, which is an Australian product based on lanolin, which is uh, oil in sheepskin. Uh, and that works very well to protect your tools. You can try that. Or Silverglide, uh, which is a German product. Uh, which I find is not as effective, but is, is, is brilliant in terms of avoiding any kind of residue on your wood pieces. So either of those I recommend to cover your uh, work surfaces and machines with. I have modified my shop vac so that it has a mini cyclone attached to it, and attached to that I have this 50mm flexible hose, uh, which is much bigger diameter than the fitting on the spindle sander. So I had to jerry-rig some kind of attachment so that I could get the 50 millimeter hose onto the spindle sander, which of course is why duct tape was invented. The machine comes with six different sized bobbins uh, and six different sized sanding sleeves for those bobbins uh, and six different sized table inserts for, for each of those. Uh, you can also, you can, you can buy the sanding sleeves in 80 grit and 120 grit possibly smaller grips as well, I'm not too sure about that uh, but it's generally used for shaping and, and the initial sanding uh, I haven't used it for the finer sanding, uh, so if anyone has and can let me know 
if that works well, uh, I'd be interested. Around the base of the machine, there are these slots and places where you can store the inserts and bobbins, etc., so that you don't lose them or hopefully are less likely to, to lose them. Uh, so that, I actually found that really handy. The machine comes with a little spanner to change the spindles, uh, this instruction manual. Essentially everything you need so need to get started is all there ready uh, straight out of the box. I've never managed to find the zen of sanding, uh, so any machine that speeds up that whole process is really attractive to me. And I discovered the hard way that sanding the inside curves of things is a particularly slow process. So, uh, so yeah, I was very pleased to be able to acquire this machine. I've got a mate who's used uh, one of these and has done thousands of hours of sanding with it and it was still going strong when he sold it to someone else. So uh, perhaps keep an eye out and see if you can pick one up second hand uh, because yeah, they appear to be quite reliable. There doesn't appear to be too much that can uh, go wrong. I'm famous for those words. Uh, I, as I mentioned, I got this one on sale, uh, so that was good, but of course it just depends on how much uh, sanding curves you do uh, and what the budget is, but I'm very happy with this machine. What do you think of this machine? Yeah? It's a good machine? Is it? Yeah? So, thank you for watching. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe because that encourages me to make more content for you. And you can press that notification bell and then you'll get notified when I post a new video. So take care and we'll see you in the next video.